Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. This is kind of actually a, a small piece of news, or it depends how you view it. Some would see it as small, but I see this as actually a really positive change in direction for Mega Constructs, and then also generally the scaled Halo line and beyond. So I'm sure you've read the title of the video, and I'll go into as much detail as possible, share my thoughts on these new pictures that have come out, and then also give some opinions of like the evolution of Marines through the 10 or 11 years that Mega Constructs have had the line. So basically, without further ado, a lot of these pictures come from two sources, Brian MCX as always, our Lord and Savior on Instagram, and then also a new Reddit user called The Striker. Thank you both very much for these in-depth photos, and I hope I can credit you well enough uh, in the comments. Like, let's let's just take a look at this. I mean, we are celebrating the fact that Marines have reduced their height, which which I know I know sounds like who cares, right? But. It's really about what kind of collector you are. So Marines have had a long, vast history in Mega Bloks. The 2013 wave of Mega Bloks was a very big, important change for the Marines. Halo 4 was out and they released a load of amazing figures. And then going into 2014, the Marines got new articulation where you could remove the armor, interchange loads of things, it was pop and swap heaven, and it really brought out the best in Mega Bloks in general as like a construction and play toy, but also celebrating just the vast variety of characters in Halo. A lot of people, they were happy at first with these Marines, but they were kind of unsettled that the height was so different with the new articulation Marines. I didn't mind it at all at the time, I was just celebrating riding the high of these awesome new Marines. But then recently, only this year, Mega Bloks have decided to completely revamp the Marines. They brought them into sort of like a new, new articulation, a newer, new articulation. They did a lot of changes that were for the better. For example, the ability to have leg straps and more interchangeable helmets with your heads. There were a lot of really cool features that they implemented, but people were not happy about the height. And this was announced through a Mega Constructs article on their website, going through the reasons that they made the changes and it was completely warranted. Clearly what they did was they were enjoying the highs of the Call of Duty line, like that is exceptional, highly articulated figures, and they wanted to give Halo that level of customization, but they kind of lost their way with the height of the Marines, becoming even taller than their predecessors. Now again, not that much of a problem, but when you compare it to a Spartan, your Marines should not be taller than a Spartan. And one of the first people to break this news earlier this year was Sal at Halo Fan for Life, he's an amazing guy, you should definitely check him out, and he did a size comparison of the Marine versus a Spartan, and it kind of, it was unsettling to people, because everyone, you know, they're invested in the micro scale of this line, they want everything to feel like it's in one living, breathing world of Halo, to the very core of Halo, Marines, or Spartans in general, are Marines that have been pumped up with Spartan serum, and to have it the opposite way around, where Marines are taller than Spartans, it did upset a lot of people, and it wasn't a very good day for the Mega Constructs forums. But Mega Constructs themselves, they have actually stepped forward and listened to the community. Here is the first pictures of the Marines from the Platoon Pack compared to the Marine Gear Pack, which I just did a video on. You should check that one out. But here we go, we can clearly see that the height has been adjusted. The legs, as you can see, are now shorter. And then here we go, when you compare them to a Spartan, they are a little bit shorter. So that, I mean, that in general, that fixes the problem. And really, it goes a little beyond that, and it shows that Mega Constructs are willing to listen to the community. You know, Mega Constructs, they're a wonderful company, but I never really know how much they're interacting with the community. Their Instagram just kind of only shares stuff from their website. Anytime I ever try and uh, contact them, it's to no end. Uh, basically, when they got bought by Mattel, their customer service kind of shut down in terms of like communicating directly with the public. Things like their parts replacement are still amazing, but that's about as far as it goes. So you never really know how much they're listening, and well, I guess now you do. This is a direct example of a company listening to the community saying, hold up, we thought we were doing something for you. Turns out we almost nailed it, but you weren't quite happy with X, and we're gonna fix it in the next available line, which they look like they fixed it so fast, actually. It's been about
about half a year since the Halo Infinite line came out initially, and they've already fixed this problem with the next available line of figures. So bravo to Mega Constructs, truly, this is actually a really cool step forward. I would really like to see this be the start of more community engagement with Mega Constructs. I'm not sure if it will be, but I can definitely hold out on that. Even back in the day, they, they were so engaged with the community, I'm telling you. Anybody that was there during the Mega Bloks days, which comment down below if you were, I would like to know, they were just so engaged with the community. They would hold polls on upcoming sets. I mean, heck, they even went to a Comic-Con and let the fans choose, it was Halo Fest, choose which set they wanted made, and the countdown won. That's how responsive they were. So, to see this, really cool step forward, and I'm sure, you know, you've seen all the Marine Platoon Pack pictures on the screen already. They look incredible. Put one of the Marines next to that Halo Infinite Series 2 blind bag figure. My goodness, uh, that yellow Spartan looks outrageously cool, and then it's also great to see another Mark 7. Orange is also a really fun color, and also that tack pad that comes in the platoon pack is next level detailed. Like, that is awesome. We're gonna finish today, guys, with four more pictures from the hijacked Ghost set. These are way more high quality. You can see the figures really nicely. I'm so excited to get those two matching grunts and have a brute in a very cheap, affordable army building set, the Spartan and the Ghost, and the two-in-one all look amazing. So I'm really looking forward to getting a couple of these. I hope they drop pretty soon. And also, we've started to see both Series 2 blind bags in the wild, and also you can buy the Marine Platoon Pack on Amazon right now. So happy hunting, guys. Here's to Mega Constructs. I hope they continue to listen to customer feedback in the future. Thanks very much for tuning in today, and the Spirit of Fire is signing off.